We're gonna start with some DMCA topics today and then kind of bounce around because I don't want to I don't want to keep it too hard hitting right off the start, uh, but we do have some stuff to talk about here. First and foremost is not actually Twitch related, it's Comcast related. A bunch of Comcast customers were receiving notices that they have been given DMCA strikes effectively, or DMCA requests by copyright holders for the Ubuntu ISO. Now, the, uh... The original kind of reaction from a lot of us was those people were just trying to fake, you know, whatever movie or game they were downloading by masking it as an Ubuntu ISO, which happens and is easily trackable. And then they're just going to cry foul, even though it's already obvious to the copyright holder. However, the reporting party is OPSEC Online Anti-Piracy. And then, so, th these are clearly fake strikes because it turns out there were people who were just seeding uh, Ubuntu ISOs that were getting... DMCA emails, but then you have, oh, they deleted it. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, I wonder if we can way back machine this. Uh, the OPSEC security or whatever uh, ended up tweeting, and they spelled DMCA wrong. They said DCMA. Effectively, the company that was the responsible party for filing those DMCA emails uh, for the Ubuntu downloads were claiming that someone had gained access to their DMCA strike service, content ID service, whatever, and we're submitting false strikes. The issue is, I keep saying strikes as if it's YouTube. This is internet service providers, not YouTube. But you know what I'm saying. Uh, the issue here is that, uh, first and foremost, they said it was for a specific day. And there were a ton of requests prior to that day. They were spelling DMCA wrong throughout the, the, the screenshotted PR statement they released and their own tweet. Which just kind of implies that they don't have a clue what they're talking about in the first place. And there were a couple other sticking points with it that I forgot to write down. But effectively, they just kind of embarrassed themselves. On top of the fact that... If I load this here... Their, their Twitter account... Oh, so they have released a new one that has DMCA spelled correctly. Oh, now they have released a separate statement! Oh my god! Okay, I really wish I had a screenshot of this first one. Because the first one that they said that they released, that I have the link for, uh, they were saying that someone gained access to their copyright system and were submitting false strikes on their behalf, and this was some long tail con to, like, tarnish their reputation and this whole conspiracy theory. And, again, they spelled DMCA wrong. And now they're just saying that they had nothing to do with it. Okay. On top of the fact that their name is literally Operational Security Security. That's like an ATM machine. Redundancy, but whatever. So, they have completely changed their statement from what their statement was prior. Oh, hey, here's the original tweet. Hell yeah. So, they're saying right now, they can categorically state that they had nothing to do with this matter. And yet, their original statement was, uh, their, their DCMA notice pr sending program was spoofed on Wednesday. Which, by the way, there were messages before then. Uh, by unknown parties across multiple streaming platforms. The content in question all appears to be Ubuntu Linux ISO. We have incontrovertible evidence that proves that these DMCA notices were not perpetrated by or originated with OPSEC security. Uh, they are occasionally spoofed by a third party in an attempt to damage their reputation. These attempts are easily identifiable and easily disproven. These are these these are very very different statements. So the whole thing's a mess. The whole thing's a disaster. But they're not the only ones facing DMCA issues. Twitch sent out an email last night as well, stating that they have received recently received more than one thousand individual takedown notifications from music publishers, all for vods. The vast majority target streamers listening to background music while playing video games or IRL streaming. Uh, they believe the right holders are, rights holders are using automated tools to scan and identify copyrighted music in VODs and clips. The stuff we already know that started a year ago. They started a year ago. It was literally last June that I was first talking about it, along with Mixer shutting down on this very show. <laughs> so, they act like this is brand new. Um, they're saying that they are actively speaking with music labels about solutions that could work with, for creators as well as rights holders. This is their first such contact from the music publishing industry. 
They are disappointed that they decided to send takedowns when we are ready and willing to speak to them about solutions. None of this makes any sense. None of it is true. And they even highlight, they even highlight, and I think this is worth noting, uh, is it in this copy of the email? In the expanded email, I think it's down here under what Twitch is doing. Oh, yeah. Multi-track audio support for OBS and more. They reference the tool to send multiple audio tracks to Twitch, which you cannot use to bypass DMCA and say that that's something they're introducing to help with these issues, even though they know that it doesn't work that way. It's mind-boggling. So, the issue here is, again, this didn't start new. Uh, this isn't a new thing. This isn't the first contact they've had from the music publishing industry. They're speaking to music labels instead of publishers. Labels don't get control over these things. The publishers do. It's in the name. Publisher. Um, and this is basically saying that they're doing a lot to make it look like they're not doing nothing. To continue to do nothing as long as possible until their safe harbor becomes... At risk, I guess, until like they start actually losing it. And so people are already receiving these takedown notices and their content being taken down again. Which again, don't stream license, you know, music you don't have license to. Uh, use our music service, backingtrack.gg or Pretzel Rocks, which we will be on, by the way. We will be on Pretzel Rocks very, very soon. Um, so those of you who've been requesting that, we made it happen. And of course, there's other royalty free music services and things like that as well. Um, but of course this is a, this is still an issue for those who use music from games or whatever that end up getting flagged or whatever that Twitch seems to just be doing absolutely jack about. And actually the founder or one of the founders of uh, Pretzel Rocks actually identified that a, a part of the lie here and that they say that it's weird that the publishers are choosing to take down rather than have conversations because Twitch has been waiting to have conversations when I remember there being multiple of these kinds of op-ed things uh, from the actual music industry being like, yo, Twitch, we need to play ball. And Twitch not getting involved. So this is a random weird PR move, not even a lawyer move. And it's really kind of crappy because this is effectively just gaslighting streamers while they continue to do nothing to protect them. And a few people have mentioned that they feel that... Amazon is too big to kind of be, I don't know, sued or whatever over these kinds of issues. But keep in mind, the reason we have such a thorough and content creator protecting content ID and copyright system on YouTube is because Google was at risk of losing safe harbor for YouTube over this exact same thing. So I don't really see how, I, I, I don't know guys, Twitch, this is not the way to handle it at all.